Now, CBS News Miami investigates the hazard on our highways and local streets. They're the ones that you aren't necessarily thinking about. Trucks carrying hazardous materials. Do you know what to look for when a truck is driving next to you? Or how do our first responders train for when one of those trucks is involved in a crash? CBS News Miami's Joe Gorcho takes us inside for a look. Broward Sheriff Fire Rescue Hazmat Team responds to an all too familiar call. Gauging our response, it's training. We go through countless hundreds of hours yearly for specific hazardous materials training. Training for things like this, a tanker carrying fuel crashed and spilled on the highway. How many times have you guys called out for a hazmat situation? It's about 60 to 70 runs a month just hazmat related. Captain Virginia Gallardo leads a Broward Sheriff hazmat team. He tells us they get no warning of even the most dangerous payloads traveling on our roads and rails and can only prepare for the worst. We never really know what we have until we get there and start identifying some of the issues. His team responds to hazardous material leaks or spills on our roadways when accidents happen, county or statewide. We do our best to identify and isolate that. Dangerous spills can be costly. Over the last decade, 280 87 in transit highway incidents statewide resulted in significant monetary damages, totaling more than $10 million. Only a few miles from the Broward Sheriff Fire Rescue Station, Cliff Berry II drives us around his family's privately owned facility in Fort Lauderdale. The challenge is that the, the response is so diverse. The Cliff Berry Company partners with the county and private businesses in response, cleanup and remediation efforts when hazardous materials spill or leak. You have to have marine assets like oil booms, uh, the heavy equipment, excavators and bulldozers when we do earth uh, contaminated the quicker the response to contain and treat the affected area, the better. Like here in 2019, a Fort Lauderdale sewer spill at Rio Vista and Victoria Park. They'll sink down through the ground, uh, sand, soils, until they hit the, the groundwater. John Hines, Cliff Berry's vice president of regional operations, adds it can endanger the quality of water we drink or air we breathe. The company has partnerships throughout Florida. It does well over 100 remediation site jobs annually statewide, costing anywhere from a few thousand dollars to hundreds of thousands of dollars per job. Over the last five years, U.S. Department of Transportation reports show more than 800 hazardous highway-related transportation incidents in South Florida. I spent two days traveling on our state roads in both counties to observe what materials move up and down county lines, overlooking State Road 836, the Turnpike, and the Palmetto Expressway. The most common hazardous transport I saw was fuel tankers following fuel shortages from the recent floods. Thousands were on the roadways in Broward and Miami-Dade last week. As you can see on this tanker, they have a posted Class 3 red placard signaling flammable liquids. U.S. Department of Transportation regulations only requires fuel trucks with more than 119 gallons to display placards on all four sides, a small fraction of what a standard tanker can carry. The most common hazardous material involved in in-transit incidents in Florida is Class 8 corrosives. Barry shows us it's marked by this sign. Because of the volume. A lot of volume of that being hauled. Corrosives are liquids or solids that can cause significant damage to human skin. The real challenge in containing these chemical leaks or spills is improper placarding or paperwork, leaving response crews in the dark about what they're walking into. Sometimes it's mislabeled or not appropriately labeled. The truck driver needs to be trained to know the commodity he's hauling matches the paperwork, matches the placard and it's paramount that that happens. Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration data reveals two of Florida's most common transport violations involve placarding problems. In our second part of Toxic Transports, we investigate safety measures, including a secret vehicle Broward Sheriff's Fire Rescue uses to keep our county safe from hazards. Joe Gorcho, CBS News Miami.